Hello and welcome back to Attingham Park. We are into October and we need to get field 34 all mowed, tedded, rode up and uh, baled for hay. So that's going to be the priority. We have got rain in the forecast but I think that's a fair few hours away yet which is good there is a fair few contracts available so we'll just get to the end of this little bit of headland and we will have a look what there is there we go let's get the mowers lifted up and have a look at the contracts so what have we got well plenty of baling ones i mean there's yeah a fair or few cultivating in field one uh plenty of sunflower harvests there's soybeans and sun more sunflowers i mean field 16 is the biggest one on the map could be an interesting one to take on Again, so could the sunflowers. We've got a ploughing contract. That might be an interesting one to run. And we've got some weeding ones. Now, it might be the fact that we uh, leave those for now. Because hopefully we're going to purchase a weeder today. Because we do need it now. So we've got the weeds showing up in our fields. But uh, yeah, that's all later on. We need to get this field cut and uh, start the tedding. So as we did with the cow pasture, I'm just going round in ever decreasing laps of the field. This is the fifth run now. Um, and it's, I meant to say actually, I uh, at the end of the uh, previous episode, I did say I was going to try and fertilise the wheat field. Um, so that has now had its second application. It worked straight after the seeding, so that's cool. And now, I, after while I was doing it, I was like, yeah, I remember this now. It's strange not using precision farming. And, uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I like this style. And uh, yeah, having to think a little bit more about what we're doing and what kit we can use. Obviously, I didn't quite think through the spreader, but we'll sort the fertilizer spreader. Sorry, but we'll sort that. That's not a massive issue. We can uh, lease something if need be. Now, what I am thinking of doing is, once we've mowed this, we will obviously need to ted it thinking that we can use the fence for that because we could really do with getting a weed assorted and uh, we'll set that up on horseplay probably with the John Deere stick the skinny tyres on it and uh, that can work around the two fields that we've got planted so I think that's the plan for now anyway um, but yeah so we'll get this mode we'll pick up a weeder and uh, yeah set that running on the John Deere last strip now down the field and it's a job well done should uh, hopefully all being well give us a decent amount of bales so let's get that all folded up we can then grab a weeder I need to have a look to see if there is anything in the sales. Failing that, we'll have to splash out and buy one. Uh, we can then swap the wheels on the John Deere and get the weeding started. Right then, well, we are up at the store. So let's take a look at the weeders. Now, this is six meters 
that's nine but is incredibly expensive but it does do medium weeds as well but if we can catch them early enough we might be able to use this one and we do have the option then to put grass in oilseed radish or canola so i think we're gonna go with this one we'll buy it there we go let's uh, get it attached and head back to the yard stick the skinnies on and uh, yeah get weeding well we've got a couple of workers helping us today we've got one in the John Deere doing the weeding and we've got another over in the uh, grass field doing the tedding for us so that should allow us to uh, put together a little bit of a montage and yeah we'll see how we get on Well, that's the first field all done, and it didn't take very long at all. So we're going to head down to our wheat field now and set a worker doing that because I don't think the uh, worker in the fence is far off uh, finishing the tedding either. So once that's done, we can grab the windrower and uh, make start getting some rows made, and then it's just a case of bailing it all up well the tedding's all done and uh, the worker is plodding through the weeding in the wheat field so that's all good so what we want to do is let's probably start on the headlands I think need to uh, shut the gate first now I was looking to uh, maybe start a contract on horse plate but I still really can't decide what uh, which ones to do so I think for now as I said earlier we're just going to crack on get our hay made and then uh, depending on what time we have we'll uh, maybe make a start on a contract and see how we go so let's uh, get everything turned on I have repaired the fence, cost about eight grand, so uh, yeah, just took a chunk of our money, so a contract would be rather handy to uh, get it back up again, but like I said, our priority needs to be our own farm first, so let's get this done. So we're probably over halfway through the uh, windrowing now and this is another bit of kit that uh, will need an upgrade sooner rather than later this is a reasonable size grass field to be fair so yeah that's on the shopping list as well as a new drill a silo oh so much to buy um what i have done is put the john deere onto a weeding contract so that's working away in field 46 i think it is 
So that's going to bring us in a little bit of money. Yeah, field 46, there you go. It's just popped up, 10% complete. So we will work through the weeding contracts and they can be running away in the background and hopefully pay off the cost of the weeder. Um, so, yeah, we need to get this rowing done, grab the baler and... Uh, yeah, at least get everything bailed before uh, yeah before the rain starts. Wind rowing all done. Got the baler, and we are going to start getting this lot bailed up and finished. Probably going to collect off screen, I reckon, because yeah, I'm not quite sure how many we're going to get, and uh, we've done enough bail loading in the last episode. <laughs> I feel like I have anyway. So, uh, yeah, John Deere is running through the contract very, very nicely. And uh, I don't think it's got long left. But yeah, that should allow us to get this lot done and then uh, take a look at the other contracts available. Well, with the majority of the bailing done, we are so ever so ever so close to having this task ticked off the list and then uh, we can get into hopefully some contracts the weeding contract that we've taken has not long completed so let's just get this stripped down here so we need to um, collect on that and move the John Deere to a next, the next field I'm not sure what uh, numbers they were but we'll have a look once we've got this done I haven't counted or checked how many bales we've got yet we're not filling up overly quickly um, but no surprise this field hadn't had anything done to it so can't really grumble possibly could have got a layer of uh, fertilizer on before it was fully grown but never mind we will get it bang on for next time I think it's probably going to need liming but we'll see about that another day let's try and get these straggly little bits turn the baler off a minute so we don't have that beeping constantly and uh, we'll get these last two passes all complete well that's it, field all bailed up and if we look in the stats we made 25 bales at 9,000 litres each so not too shabby hopefully we can uh, improve on that for the next cut which is probably going to be in the spring now so what I think we can actually do is off higher the baler we don't need that anymore thank you very much keep that trailer for now um and let's go and check on the john deere the next weeding contract is in field 29 which is not far from our own farm so worker is set doing that so with our baling done and what we class it more, what I class as our priority, we can uh, now have a peruse through the contracts and uh, yeah, see what we want to do for the rest of the day. So, into the contracts menu, and first of all, let's collect on the weeding contract for field 46. And we're getting on on field 29, 23% through, lovely. Now, Looking at the harvesting contracts, we are going to take this one in field 12. So we want to borrow the items. Thank you. Field 16 is huge and it's the I think it's the biggest field on the map. So maybe, not sure yet. We'll see how we get on. Um we will 
accept the contract on field three and field 14 for weeding. And I think for now that will do. So let's uh, get the equipment for field 12 and make a start. Well, we uh, got all the equipment down to the field ready and the heavens have opened. <laughs> so obviously if we harvest in this, the yield is going to be reduced and we run the risk of not having enough soybeans to complete the contract. So we can do nothing else but uh, again, wait for the rain to pass. Well, this is more like it. Nice shower to, uh, yeah, dampen the crops a bit. But we're harvesting, and uh, so that's a good thing. We've got a GPS course set, so we'll do two headlands probably, I think. Should be enough with this uh, width of, he of uh, header. So, yeah, not sure what we're going to get yield-wise. But, uh, yeah. Let's crack on and uh, get it done. Well, we're uh, not long into the second headland and we needed to unload. I am liking the uh, New Holland and the chase a bit. That's a pretty cool setup. So, yeah, we're going to probably square this side of the field off to our left, uh, come back around the headland, and then uh, start on the up and downs. Just had a notification that the contract um, in field 29 is complete. So we'll run up this pass of soybeans and uh, then grab the New Holland, uh, unload the combine and whilst it's unloading we will move the John Deere between fields. So this is going alright to be fair. Approaching 5 o'clock and I'm hoping the light doesn't uh, fade too quickly otherwise it's going to make it very difficult to uh, make it tolerable to watch <laughs> you know what I mean um, so yeah we're going to push on we'll get to the end of this pass and unload I think so we're ready to cut in uh, through the rest of the field but uh, yeah enjoying it money is going to be going up you know we're trying to yeah first objective is got to be maybe a silo i think because any excess crops we get we can then store and wait to the best price to sell so yeah need to uh, have a bit of a look as to what uh, is available and what we can afford uh, failing that we'll just have to sell everything and uh, make do with what the price is at the minute well, we're putting into the field now, and you'll see the John Deere there with our weeder working its way around field 14. So that's one of the other weeding contracts. And then the other is field 3, which is that little field there by the truck and the uh, New Holland. So we're all in very close vicinity now, so that makes it a lot easier for... Uh, moving things around and yeah I've got to keep uh, running up and down the map if you get what I mean so we're going to push on and uh, get this field opened up and yeah get it all finished so we can get it completed and get some money in the bank so last pass down uh, this side of the field and whilst we've been cruising along with uh, cruise control set I've been having a look on the web at silos I th think I found one that would do us alright um, they vary from between 30,000 to 45,000 depending on the style that we go for so that's the target to aim for don't think we're going to need it this year my current plan and this all depends on how much time I have is to 
do this field and then move on to field 16 but borrowing the equipment for that contract as well so I am almost tempted to leave the rest of this field because if we harvest it all that'll take it to the 80% complete so if we just have a quick look in the contracts menu we are already at 64% so the cheaty trickster like the system kind of uh, person in me says we stop where we are now and deliver what we've got in the lorry we borrow the items for field 16 and set those off on course play whizzing round maybe not whizzing but working round to get the soybeans in that harvest at uh, that field done both are going to the same place so it should work but um yeah so i think that's the plan so we'll do one more pass back up the field get unloaded get that delivered and then move across to field 16 and uh, hope for the best right then so we've accepted the contract on 16 there is three passes left on field 12 get confused with field 14 here um, the lorry is off down to British Grain to deliver the first load of or first lorry load of soybeans should I say so the plan is we're going to start this um, in game day in game day in the next in game day so we're going to leave the John Deere doing the weeding and uh, we will skip ahead to tomorrow well it's the next morning and so far everything is running reasonably smoothly we are 80% full you can see the combine in front is just being unloaded now this is all running on horse play and auto drive um, had an absolutely brilliant course at uh, course auto drive routes um, and field markers and cell points um, sent to me by uh, Adam so thank you very very much for that that has saved me an inordinate amount of time so that's running on that so we've got uh, everything going autonomously hopefully the contract in field number let's have a quick look 14 is complete so we can collect on that we can then head to field 3 you'll see the contract in field 12 is 85% complete it delivered everything against field 12 from the first lorry load so that's good so hopefully the idea of not uh, completing the harvest in that field will work and yeah we can have a rather large income not only from the contracts but from the soybeans that are left over at the end so let's jump out of here and let those carry on we will jump into the John Deere which oh, look at the repair gauge needs some TLC by the look of it um, so we're gonna have to do that at some point as well but let's get this working in field three in fact we may just do this because there's no point paying a worker to do such a small field so let's get this done 
we'll catch back on the progress of the soybean harvest and then that probably will be the end of it for today well we are riding along in the lead combine and everything so far ignore the corners we'll catch them in a bit is going the well i do have to say we've got the tractors and the auger wagons um carting brilliantly we've got a lorry down there somewhere waiting second combine is doing a great job as well so yeah very very pleased so far um we are going to leave it here for today though i think this video has gone on long enough i will be continuing this um in the next episode so we're not going to miss anything just working out what this combine is doing um yeah i'm not going to do all this off screen we will continue this next time and uh, oh it's going to do the roundabout okay that's fine um yeah so i'm going to say thank you very very much for watching hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one Take care.